Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. Today I thought I would do a chit chat get ready with me because it is the last day of the work week for me. I don't work at my part-time job on Friday, so like I've said in many Friday vlogs, that is like my content creation day. So I have actually one sponsorship that I have to create content for tomorrow. But anyways, today I'm actually going to my all-time favorite sushi restaurant in Atlanta. It's called Umi. It's in Buckhead and it's to die for. My dad and I love to bond over food and he always knows that when I come into town, I want to go to Umi. So he's going to take me for like a late birthday thing slash you know christmas holiday season you know gotta get your sushi fix in i obviously want to look very nice for tonight um i don't know what i'm gonna be wearing yet but i thought i would like dress up you know do me up a little bit maybe i'll curl my hair depending on what i wear but i also wanted to give you guys an updated makeup routine i did one recently on my igtv but for all of you who don't follow me on instagram or just like haven't seen that yet i thought i would just do it here and just like talk through some stuff but also if you're not following me on instagram definitely do so i always say this but i want to be more active on my instagram stories i just like never know what to post so that is the question of the day what do you guys like to see on instagram stories because for me i actually like stories better than feed posts now i feel like feed posts are just so like boring to me and i don't really like scroll i mean like yeah i scroll i get bored so easily so let me know what's your favorite thing to see on IG stories from bloggers and influencers and everything like that. I'm gonna wet my sponge. I'd like to think that I have a minimal makeup routine, but this is like definitely not minimal. It's just like, I used to do so much more and you guys are probably gonna see my makeup routine and be like, why did she ever think that was minimal? Okay, um, starting with my foundation, I have been using this bad boy recently. This is my new foundation I have been freaking loving, I'm obsessed with. Sorry for my nails, you know, I have Indian food and they just turned really yellow, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I have pretty blotchy skin and this is just so perfect, like it makes my skin look like porcelain and I am obsessed with it so I'm kind of sad though because I feel like it's running low or like the pump just doesn't have a lot of foundation coming out so I feel like it's like on the brink of running low but maybe the pump's just not good because I don't think I've been using it for that long but I think it's worth it so I would definitely buy it again or maybe try out another high-end foundation I actually recommended it to a couple of people um, that are my friends and they've tried it and they said Oh, they really liked it too. Do you have a favorite foundation? If so, comment below because I'm always wanting to try new brands. Honestly, I really want to try the Kosas brand. It's like an oil foundation or like an oil tint. I don't even know, but it looks so dewy and pretty. Next, we're going to go in with my Too Faced concealer. And I forgot to tell you guys the colors. I need to start doing that more. This one is golden beige and then my foundation is in 12 cool. And the foundation is like a perfect match. I mean, maybe not to like my face face, but to my body, it just like looks really good. I'm also gonna use it as primer. I cannot wait to get back to Austin because I just like feel like I wanna clean everything. I wanna organize everything. I just wanna get back to my place and have all my stuff there and be with Sophie again if you guys didn't know Ryan's taking care of Sophie right now because my dad has another dog here and they don't get along so I just thought it would be better to have Ryan take care of her at his house because he has other dogs at his house but they all do their own thing they're just like old dogs next I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder this is truly the icing on the cake when I'm doing my foundation base because it just looks so flawless and I love it. The only thing I would say about this is since it is a pressed powder and it's not like baking, um, I do kind of get some oil spots throughout the day. So I kind of want to buy another one of these and just like plop it in my purse so I don't have to like bring this back and forth out of my purse, if that makes sense. This is what my base looks like. Looks so good. Freaking love that foundation. You cannot say enough good things about it. Next, I'm gonna go in with bronzer. Sorry about the dirty packaging. Um, but this is in the color Blazed. I'm gonna grab a brush like this. I used to use the Huda Beauty Tantour bronzer. It's like a cream to powder bronzer, but I was just like really looking for that sun-kissed look 
even in the winter I think it's so pretty and so um, the person at Sephora recommended me this one and I really like it so far. Not forget about nose contour because my nose is a little crazy and crooked. This is the Hula Bronzer. I feel like everyone's heard of it. It kind of just looks like this. It comes with its own brush too. I'm just gonna go down the sides and then put a little under, then put a little right here. Kind of give you that button nose look. This is one of the newer products I have tried. It's from Urban Outfitters, actually. It's almost similar to Glossier's cheek tint, like the cloud paint, but this one is so much easier to apply because it has like a little doe foot applicator. And so I just put it kind of where I put my bronzer and then take my beauty blender, the side that I don't really use for foundation, and just blend that out. And I really like using a cream product too because then I get to use my beauty blender and just like blend it out and I feel like it looks a little bit more dewy. Before I get into mascara and just like the eyes, I like to go in with my setting spray. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. I guess I just really like that whole line. It's amazing. Honestly, I first heard about this one from TikTok because she showed like her putting on eyeshadow and her wiping like the eyeshadow away without this product and then her setting the eyeshadow and then it like didn't wipe away. I don't think it really works that amazing on my foundation, but I honestly haven't used setting spray in so long, so maybe I'm just doing it wrong, I don't know. If you guys watch my vlogs, you would probably know that Ryan's still looking for a car and he still has some miles to use on his lease car. So he asked me today if I wanted to go to Athens this weekend. And if you guys didn't know, Athens is his college town and literally like where my job is headquartered. It's so funny how that worked out. But um, I mean, we both have strong ties to Athens. I mean, obviously him more, but I used to visit him a lot in college. So, so I feel like I still have a connection to that town too. So I thought it'd be fun to go to Athens and I hope we can still do it. But then I was thinking like we both have the week off after Christmas, before New Year's, well, New Year's included, I think. I was thinking we could do some sort of like a little mini road trip to somewhere like on the border of Georgia, but I'm not sure like what is really open, but I'm not really sure if like things are open anywhere. So I honestly still don't know when I'm going back to Austin because we didn't buy a round trip. We only bought a one way here. So we have no idea. Next, I'm gonna do eyeshadow, and I recently got this eyeshadow palette from Makeup by Mario. It is stunning and such good quality, I really like it. I'm gonna set my face one more time after I use the setting spray. I'm gonna take this color and put it all over my lid. I'm gonna blend out using this color. Next, I'm gonna use this color to blend out. Next thing I'm gonna do is curl my lashes. And this is very important to do before you do the eyeliner because I find that my eyeliner usually comes off on my eyelash curler sometimes. So I like to do it beforehand. Today I'm gonna to attempt some winged liner and I'm not amazing at it. So I'm gonna do that off camera because I just could not imagine doing it in camera. So I'll be back. I'm gonna do my eyebrows next because they're bothering me. This is from LA Girl and it's the Shady Slim brow pencil and I am using the darkest or blackest brown I think. I used to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil but I found that it was just like so dry sometimes but this one is just really nice and I feel like I've been filling in my eyebrows a little too dark. <laughs> So I'm gonna try to do it a little bit later this time. Next, we're gonna do some mascara. I love this Honest Beauty mascara because it comes with a primer. So we're gonna use that first. Ryan and I's binge show currently is Desperate Housewives. I feel like I talk about it a lot, but since we aren't like technically living together right now because we're at our parents' house, it's so hard to watch it and I haven't watched it in so long and it makes me sad. I feel like there's so many TV shows out there right now, like, like The Undoing, I've heard a lot of good things about that. I don't know if I have HBO though. I did watch Emily in Paris when I was at home, but I feel like Desperate Housewives is taking way too long to finish and I just can't get on with my other shows. But maybe I should start a show without Ryan while I'm here. 
but I feel like it's just so much more fun to have someone watching the show with you so you can like talk and discuss it, and make inside jokes, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm taking my Laura Mercier Caviar Volume Mascara. I'm actually gonna wait a few more seconds for this primer to dry. I think it's dry, but you know, just in case. The wings, the wings could have been better today. <laughs> it was my first time using my new Pro Tip Eyeliner from Glossier. It is literally the best freaking eyeliner ever. Like something about the tip is so perfect for wings. And I've been kind of just doing like a subtle wing um, every time I've been doing my makeup and I love it. I love the look. I literally put like a hundred coats of mascara on my eyelashes it feels like. I'm a little bit crazy when it comes to that because I want them to look like I'm wearing fake lashes. I feel like they have the length. They just need the volume and then I curl them afterwards so they stay up a lot longer. I know that's probably like not the best for your eyelashes. You're not supposed to curl the eyelashes after you put mascara on, but I recently started putting mascara on the backs of my eyelashes just so everything is coated really nicely. And then after I just let these dry for like 30 seconds and then I go in with a mascara that's really good at separating so I'll either take my Honest Beauty one because that is so good or my Roller Lash. Both of these are really really good for just separating your eyelashes. Um, and then also there's one by Glossier I use. Where is that? This one is Lash Slick and it separates your eyelashes pretty good but the brush is a little bit flimsier than the other ones so I would say Honest Beauty and Roller Lash are probably my two favorite ones. Roller Lash has been a fave for years. It never fails me, so I think this one is probably my favorite mascara of all time. I don't know if you can tell, but my eyelashes are a little clumpy, so we're gonna go in with the Roller Lash and just separate those lashes. Dang it. <laughs> Got mascara, but it's okay. Can Q-tip it out later. Gotta wait for it to dry and then you clean the mascara because when it's still like wet, it just can spread easily. So always wait till your mascara is dry before cleaning. I think my mascara looks pretty good. I'm gonna do the bottom lashes with the Glossier Lash Slick. I have way too many mascaras in my routine, I know. I should probably like simplify, but I just love them all for different reasons. I'm obviously missing lips, so let's do that now. I'm gonna be using my Dose of Colors Knock on Wood Liquid Lipstick. It's just kind of like a pale nude kind of color. It honestly looks like my foundation is just on my lips, but then when that dries a little bit, I'm gonna be taking the KKW Lip Liner in Nude 2. I freaking love this lip liner and getting a little bit short, so I think I'm gonna have to refill this. I definitely wanna try a couple other colors in the KKW. Um, I just really like the consistency and the color, obviously, it's so pretty. I've actually been seeing quite a bit of ads for this lip gloss on my Instagram. It is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss and it says it has hyaluronic acid, that's cool. So it's like moisturizing. Um, and it is in the color 008 Stone. It's a really pretty gloss. I think I'm just gonna put a little over top just to like kind of blend it. Sometimes I'll have like a lip liner line and it's like so gross, <laughs> it's not cute. So you just wanna blend the two together. I think it's dry. I'm gonna go in, take the mascara off. Don't mind the hair. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe I'll just keep it straight because oh Or maybe I'll get the Dyson hair wrap. I'm not sure if you can do it on dry hair, but I might try it out Because um, I just need a little bit of volume, you know, it just looks a little too flat. This is the completed makeup look I went a little heavier on the eyes just because I feel like I like that nowadays. I like a darker lid um, And it just gives me a little sultry look so I need to pick out my outfit and decide what I'm gonna do with my hair I decided to curl my hair, got one more piece. I just used the Bombay 5-in-1 um, curling iron and I used the thickest barrel. Oh my god, what the heck? <laughs> okay, so I just kind of point the curler down and wrap it around. And I don't leave it on for too long, especially like today's look. I want it to be a little bit more natural and my bangs especially. I don't want it to be on there too long, so. That is that.
So this is the hair, and I think I'm gonna just like kind of loosen it a little bit more with my favorite way texturizing hairspray. Just gonna It looks more beachy when you kind of add that spray, even though I didn't really do like ringlets to begin with, but just kind of gives you a little bit of volume. So, so cute. Sorry about the echoes, but I wanted to quickly show you guys my outfit of the day. This is the Kali dress, I believe, from 437. And then I'm wearing my sheer text tights. I'm not sure about the shoes yet. I think maybe Doc Martens or Open Toe Heel. I'm obsessed with this dress. It honestly is so perfect. I love that it's cinched in because I have a lot of like silk button up kind of shirts, but they're just like super boxy on me. And I feel like I have a curve, so I like to show them off. In the back, it's really cinched. So I really like just like the silhouette of this dress. And yeah, so this is the look of the night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the links will be down below of everything I talked about, um, my makeup and like my hair products and stuff like that. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.